Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to the online version of BandLab Part 2. How to add a BandLab sample to a track and how to modify it. Also, in this video, I will show you how to change the tempo and the key scale of your song. At the left side of the home screen, click on the name of your project. At the right of the screen, click on Mix Editor. At the bottom right of the screen, click on BandLab Sounds. At the top of the pop-up menu, click on Loops. Click on the down arrow to the right of the word Instrument. Then click on an instrument type from the pop-up menu. Here I will click on Effects. Click on the play icon to the left of the loop name to hear the loop. Click on the pause icon to stop playback. Scroll through the list of samples, then drag a loop on the pop-up list to the blank area just below the bottom track. Here I will drag HFX C90 full 2 4 bar. To the right of the loop name, there are three sets of information. The first is the instrument type, which here is FX. The second is the tempo of the original loop, which here is 90. The third is the key scale of the original loop, which here is C major. So when I drag the loop to the track mixer screen, a transposition pop up message appears asking if I want to set the song key scale to C major. I haven't set the key scale yet, so I will click on Set. The tempo of the loop sample was originally 90 beats per minute, but it automatically changes. To the beats per minute of this song, which is currently set to 120. A new track has now been added to the song, and the loop sample has been added to the track. But the loop sample is in the wrong place, so press the left mouse button on the loop sample and drag it to the correct position on the track. At the bottom right of the screen, click on BandLab Sounds to close the sample pop-up list. Now let's edit the loop sample. Double click on the loop sample. The audio track editor now opens at the bottom of the screen. At the left side of the audio track editor, Click on the plus or minus below the words Pitch Shift to change the pitch of the loop sample. Click on the plus or minus below the words playback rate 
to change how fast the sample is played at. Notice this will change the length of the sample. To play the sample in reverse, click on Reverse. To add a fade in to the sample, drag the white dot at the top left of the sample in the audio track editor window to the right. To add a fade out, drag the white dot at the top right of the sample to the left. To trim the beginning of the sample, Drag the trim icon at the bottom left of the sample to the right. To undo the trim, click on the undo icon at the top left of the browser window. To trim the end of the sample, Drag the trim icon at the bottom right of the sample to the left. Trimming the sample will change the length of the sample. If you want to loop the sample, drag the loop icon at the top right of the sample to the right on the track mixer screen. A vertical line will appear at the end of each loop. At the bottom left of the browser window, click on Editor to close the Audio Track Editor window. Now let's set the key scale of the song. At the top of the screen, click on C major. Then on the pop up list, click on the key scale you want to use for your song. Here, my song will be in the key scale of F major. A transposition pop-up message now appears, asking if I want the loop sample to be transposed to the new key scale. 
Click on Adjust to change the key scale of the loop to the key scale of the song, or click on Don't Adjust if you don't want the loop transposed. Here I will click on Adjust. Now let's set the tempo. At the top of the screen, press the left mouse button on 120 BPM and drag up the screen to increase the speed of the song or down the screen to slow the song down. Here I will set my song to 112 BPM. An audio stretching pop-up message now appears. My loop sample was automatically sized to fit a length of four bars at the tempo of the song when I added the loop. Then I edited the sample so it was three bars long. But now I have changed the tempo to 112 BPM and the loop is no longer three bars long. In fact, it is too short. But if I click on adjust, the loop sample will be adjusted back to three bars long at the new tempo of 112 BPM. Finally, at the top right of the browser window, click on Save. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.